when it says unit vector, that's a vector with length one. And when it says find the value of that, the value of X, when you have a unit vector, that's just gonna be the Pythagorean theorem. These are real easy Pythagorean theorem problems and what gives it away is talking about a unit vector, okay? Let's do B and C real quick and then we'll just talk about the other. So for in quadrant two, I'm gonna draw a vector in quadrant two. So just draw an arrow there, array. And then that has, says it's a unit vector, which means it has a length of one. And you're always going to draw your triangle perpendicular to the x-axis. And so we're given the x value is negative 7 over 11. And then the y value is going to be some x. Now, I always use positive values to label my triangle. If you want to put the negative there, you can. Just be careful with that. But I just know when I'm solving my triangle here and I have to do a plus or minus, I know my y coordinate should be positive because I went up right and i know if i if i knew this y value and i had to find this x value i knew that that will be negative because i had to go to the left there so just think about that at the end a little bit when you're plotting the points but see you just got to find that variable right there so just use your pythagorean theorem it's a right triangle you know two sides you just kind of find that third one so you're going to go x squared plus the 7 over 11 squared and if you did put the negative right there you got to put the negative inside the parentheses equals the hypotenuse square, which is the one squared. And this will give us x squared. This will give us 49 over 121 equals one. You're gonna subtract 49 over 121 from each side. And you could just plug that stuff into the calculator there, but that's gonna, if that's like 121 over 121 minus 49, that's gonna end up being the 72 over 121. And you're gonna square root both sides. Now, when you square root both sides, you gotta choose a plus or minus but I'm trying to solve for this y variable and it went up, which means it's gonna be positive. So I'm gonna choose the positive square root. I'm gonna square root the top, square root the bottom, the square root of 121 is a perfect square, so that's nice. And then right here, you have to make this like 36 times two, that's gonna be six radical two, simplest radical form over 11 right there. So you gotta get the exact answer, not the decimal answer. And again, you're choosing the positive because that y coordinate went up. <clears throat> Let's do letter C. Letter C, this time we are in quadrant three. So <clears throat> you don't wanna make a mistake and draw this in the wrong quadrant. So be really careful with that because that's gonna determine your plus or minus at the end of this thing. So quadrant three is over here. There's my unit vector with length one. So I'm gonna draw a triangle always perpendicular to that X axis. And then this time I don't know the X value. So there's my variable there. And my Y is the negative one fourth. All right. Now I'm gonna do my Pythagorean theorem again. So I'm gonna go x squared plus the one fourth squared equals one squared. That'll be x squared plus one over 16 equals one. I'm gonna subtract one over 16 from both sides. And this is really like a 16 over 16 minus a one over 16, but you can use your calculators for that. That's gonna give us a 15 over 16. And when I square root both sides, I need to choose a plus or minus. You gotta make a choice. You can't just leave the plus or minus there. But see, this time I'm solving for this variable. Now, when you plot this point here, you went to the left. So your X coordinate will be negative. This time you have to choose the negative value. And then the square root of 15 is just the square root of 15. You can go five times three, but those aren't perfect squares. And then your square root of 16 is equal to four. So you got two examples, one where we had a positive, one where we had a negative. And then there's my work for all four. You can see the answers there. Notice in quadrant one, everything was all positive. Quadrant four, I was solving for that y variable. So I made sure I chose that was negative right there. But you get all my work there. Just be real careful with that. Practice that so we are perfect with those.